Hey guys, this is Wolf, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Cuxer Pinch. Um, I made my own custom training for it. You can download it if you want. It's only one angle, like one shot, but it really teaches you pretty much how to do it from any angle that you can try to pull it off. Um, the main point is just how you hit the ball so it can get far enough to get by the near post. So when you jump into it, you're going to want to turn 45 degrees and that will get you the most power into it. If you go into it completely sideways, you can still get it to go on net, but it's gonna go pretty slow and most people can catch up to that. If you hit it at a perfect 45 degree, you're either gonna have that happen or you're gonna have a little bit more powerful pinch. That one wasn't quite 45 degrees, so it didn't really go that fast. Let's see if I can pull off one. There, that one went a lot faster. You can get it to go up to around 140 kilometers an hour if you pull this off perfectly, like straight into the top corner. So like on that one, I hit the ball at pretty much a 45 degree angle, but I hit it perfectly to get it to shoot out like a full power pinch. That's a boomer. There we go. So that one had really good power straight into the top corner. So you see here in the replay, it's pretty much a 45 degree angle, hitting kind of the middle edge of the ball. It's kind of hard to explain exactly where that's hitting. Um, I'll show it in a replay in a moment. So here, I got a really good sideways on Cuxer Pinch. And the way that I pulled this off was, it was a pretty rough and quick angle to go for, but I was able to hit that like little edge corner of the ball to get a perfect squeeze to hit the ball out of it. And same thing with this one, where you kind of squeeze the ball out and just picture a cone and the ball is going to go out to the left side of that cone. And you can see his view of it. And the ball just booms straight out of that cone, cone to his goal. And on this one as well, I think this was the best angle that I hit. The ball flies out at full speed. And you also need to be parallel with the ball's height. You need to be right in the middle of it when you hit the ball like that to get the most power out of it. And if you're feeling lucky enough, you can go for a musty pinch which is pretty insane if you actually do hit it. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice to get to that point. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you learned a lot about the Cuxer Pinch and how to do it on your own. And thanks for watching.